Hello, I'm Chef Johnny, and this is Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Appreciate you stopping by. Today, got a special dish for you. We're breaking out the Weber kettle again. We're doing some grilling, and this time it's going to be some sizzling fajita. We're going to get started on these fajitas. And the, uh, the first thing we're going to do is, is make our marinade. I got about two and a half pounds of fajitas. My wife picked those up. Now, fajitas traditionally are a skirt steak. You'll see people use flank steak. Flank steak, skirt steak are two different things. They are not the same thing. A little similar. They're both tough, but um, they're not the same thing. Traditional is the skirt steak. I hear a lot of people go, oh, these are traditional, and they'll have sirloin, and they'll have all kinds of other meat in there. Traditionally, they are the skirt steak. They were the uh, carne asada, all right? Before, early before 1980s, fajitas weren't even heard of, all right? Uh, we didn't start calling them that until the very, very end of the 70s. And then you started hearing the term fajitas, and that's a long history you can look up on your own. But I tell you what, uh, uh, we're going to cook up skirt steaks, and we're going to make fajitas, and we're going to show you how we do that down here in South Texas. First thing I'm going to do is, is just, I'm going to take this cilantro and maybe about half of this bunch of cilantro. Um, take it, and if you'll roll this up kind of into a little bundle and a little ball, then whenever you slice it, it kind of holds together. And you can cut it up, turn it halfway, and you, if you wanted to run all this through the blender, you could and get this even smaller. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to chop this. I got a pretty good small chop on it. So I'm going to take it, and I've got a big two-gallon Ziploc bag. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to dump all this cilantro right inside of this Ziploc bag. First part of my marinade is done. Set my cilantro off to the side, move that cutting board, now we'll get the other ingredients. I have some uh, orange juice, half a cup of orange juice. It's going to go in. So dump that in my bag. Next is quarter cup of, uh, no, excuse me. This is a third of a cup of uh, olive oil. You could use any type of good cooking oil, canola, uh, whatever you like to use. Just a, a nice oil that you like. Now, quarter cup of lime juice, fresh squeezed lime juice, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. If you wanted to use uh, apple cider vinegar, that would be fine. Next going in is a half a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of black pepper, just ground black pepper. Got about three-fourths of a teaspoon of uh, cumin. And now I have six nice cloves of garlic minced, and they actually were ran through a garlic press, so they're real small. All that, that is my marinade. So I'm just going to seal this bag up, squeeze some of the air out, and I'm going to mix it together. You could put it in a bowl and whisk it, <laughs> whatever you want to do. I just do it in the, in, the, uh, in the bag, saves me an extra step, so I don't have to worry about cleaning an extra dish. So next thing we're going to do is, is put in our fajitas. Wife picked these up at HEB yesterday, so... And if you see this, it's a strip. If you wanted to clean this up, you could. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm just going to put it in there and marinate it with that skin on it. Kind of a, kind of a silver skin like. Here's the other one. So we have two nice strips of fajitas that we're going to put in here. Drop it in our bag. And I didn't do it this time. If you wanted to, you could actually reserve a little bit of this to pour back in on your bell peppers later that you're going to be cooking up in your onions. But for us tonight, I'm not going to do it. Put a little oil on with those. I'm going to put some other seasonings, but I just want to mix these real good. Coated good. Kind of roll them. We've got some air in the bag. I'm going to try to squeeze the air out. There we go. I've got some errands to run. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. I'll see you on about six hours. I'll tell you what, we're back. Those uh, fajitas have been 
marinating for a while and we are we are fixed to get busy cooking those before we do though i want to give a shout out del rio texas one of my subscribers got on there actually this morning and said hey chef give del rio a, a shout out so 120 miles west of me out there right on the rio grande river edgar here's your shout out buddy and to all my fans and subscribers in del rio thank you all for following me thank you everybody that has subscribed to my channel appreciate that we are trying to get this done, trying to cool down. It's been a hot one here in Texas today. Finishing up my ski soda waters. Y'all know these aren't from Texas, right? Anyways, if you miss my slaw burger fries and a bottle of ski, I'll put a, I'll put a link in here for you so you can jump over there to that little tribute to Dumas Walker, the great song, and the band Kentucky Headhunters. Uh, did that a few weeks ago. I'm uh, slowly drinking up the last of my, of my ski soda. So as we're finishing that up today, but we're going to get started and get done. What I've done is, uh, while we were waiting, I've just taken one large white onion. I've diced it up. And I have some real colorful sweet peppers here. A few jalapenos I'm going to throw on the grill. But we're going to grill these up, uh, get them cooked. One thing I'm going to do now is I'm not going to put these peppers and onions on the Weber. I could take my cast iron over there and do that. But here in the outdoor kitchen, I have a side burner. So I'm gonna throw the cast iron on it. I'm gonna show you how I grill these up, how I flavor them up while we're, while we're cooking them. And then uh, we'll get that meat going quick as we can. Got an old Martin stove and range number eight. We're gonna sit that on there. Get that heating up. If you want a non-stick surface on your, uh, on your cast iron, besides your seasoning and all that, and this really works with any pot, heat the pot then put the oil in and heat the oil then use it that'll give you a little slicker surface without a doubt but we're gonna pour a little oil in now it's warmed up some not a whole lot a couple of tablespoons maybe and right on top of that i'm gonna come with a whole white onion and we're gonna cook these up might be able to hear these onions starting to sizzle here in that hot oil now we want to add a little flavor to this so i'm gonna take some uh but heat the seasoning, and this is just uh, Olner's uh, Fiesta brand. When I'm not using my own fajita seasoning, this is my go-to. They have excellent line of seasonings. They're here local San Antonio. But anyway, a little flavor. Don't want these onions to be without flavor. If you want to reserve a little bit of your marinade, you can also use that instead of oil in the bottom of your pan. That, uh, that gives you a lot of flavor also. And we're going to take these down to what I'm going to call a crisp tender. While these are finishing up, I'll tell you about another channel I watch. Uh, Chef John Polite, and it's only food. If you get a chance, jump over to his channel. I'm going to put a link in there for Chef Polite. Super guy, I tell you what, talented cook, great teacher. Get over there, see the videos he has. See if you can learn a little bit from Chef John Polite. Tell him, uh, Chef Johnny sits you over there and tell him hello, but... Good guy, good channel. If you would, check it out. It's only food. Chef John Polite. These onions are getting pretty tender, so I'm going to take them off. Put them into my plate. Those are off. Pan's back on there. And I'm going to add my sweet peppers to it. A little more oil. Won't hurt anything. Few shakes of the Bowler's Fiesta by heat the seasoning and we're just gonna soften these peppers up I had to change the angle we were filming in the uh, Sun setting right over here in the west that outside window y'all probably seen it in my videos but it was really bright today so I turned inside a little bit but we're finishing up these peppers once we get those through we're gonna get our meat on the Weber kettle you see these peppers starting to get a little bit of color to them and they're tendering up well, so we won't be leaving them on there much longer. Let's get these off. Be careful not to burn yourself. You got a cast iron skillet. Remember that handle gets good and hot, but I have a uh, pad on there. I have these thermal pads that slip over the handles. So. Peppers are done, onions are done. Let's get those fajitas on the grill. Had our fajitas sitting out since we've been warming up our peppers, so they're coming up to room temperature. Didn't want to throw that cold meat straight on the fire. They've been marinating. Let's take them over the Weber and see how they cook up. Weber kettle's good and hot. Now, what I've done is I've got a little more heat on this side. So it still is charcoal all the way across the bottom, but I've got more on the front 
that I have on the back so that I can move them back and forth if I need to. Take our fajitas out of the bag. And we're gonna lay them on. Get this second batch on. And I'm gonna tell you, it's not gonna take real long. We want these medium rare to medium tops. We do not want to overcook them at all. While those are cooking, I'm gonna grill up some peppers also. So I've got a couple of jalapenos and just a couple of sweet peppers. Put those on, let those get hot. And they'll look real pretty, taste good also. It's about time to check these. Pull that lid back. They are starting to look pretty. They are drawing up. Let's flip them over. Ooh, got a little bit too hot on that one. Let's see this one. Oh, not bad. Let's cook up this side. Look at our peppers here. I'm gonna roll those over. Get a little color on them. All right, let's let these cook. We'll go about three minutes and I'll check them. I think these are cooked plenty. We're gonna take these off. See how they look. Those are nice looking. We're gonna take our grilled peppers. Let's take a look at those. No, I think we can take those off also. Just hook them with our horn. While our meat's resting, these coals are cooling down. I'm going to throw some tortillas on. Heat these up real quick. Get those good and hot. Flip them over. They'll be ready to go. Even though they were made before, once you heat these up, they just regenerate real well. And they'll, they'll taste just wonderful. You can tell when they start getting ready to turn, they start puffing up. Kind of look for that puff like that one right there. There you go. Let's flip it over. There we go. Drop it in our holder. That'll keep it nice and warm. Flip that one over. Here we go. You can tell that hotter side of the grill. They're getting ready a lot quicker. And be careful. If you want to use tongs. I'm kind of used to this, so. I can kind of reach in there and grab them. These fajitas have been resting a while, so take one off. Put it on my cutting board here. Now remember, everybody wants to cut a fajita like this. The meat fibers are actually running this way. So you want to cut it this way to get it tender. Don't want to cut with the grain. Always cut across the grain on a tough piece of meat. This is about a good size right here. They might be closer to medium. Might be a little bit more than I would really like them, but take it here. They are still moist and they are still tender. So I do not have to worry about the toughness on these. You can see the juice running out of them. These are going to taste wonderful. In fact, good flavor. We are just about ready to plate these. Move our meat out of the way. <coughs> you can tell these trays have been getting used a while. It's got our trays over here. Be careful because these are hot. You'll notice I've got pads on myself, but take about half these onions. They are a sizzling. Onions on the bottom. Take our peppers. Top of that. And now let's get some of our but heat the meat up here on top. We'll put a skirt on each one. That's why they call them sizzling fajitas. Put them on those hot trays. Send them out to the customers. 
It's a, it's a great presentation. We see other restaurants down here all the time. But uh, I tell you what, we're going to make some tacos out of these. See if they taste as good as they look and they sound. It is time to make some tacos. So let's look and see what we can do here. Got a nice hot tortilla. Get a couple of them. Put the lid back on there, keep the other ones hot. And we're going to see if we can put one together. Got my condiments here to go with it. They're still hot, so I'm going to put me some meat up on here. Reach down in there and get some onion, a little pepper. Now on top of that, pico de gallo, nice and spicy. My wife brought me the condiments. Didn't bring anything to spread the guacamole with. So we'll use a knife. A little guacamole. Nice looking taco. Let's try to do that again. We're going to come in here, grab us a few pieces of our meat, get some peppers and some onions. Get another pepper on there, just like that. Take a little pico de gallo right there and a little dab of guacamole on top. Now that's a sweet taco. And of course, you know, we got to try it. So let's give it a try. Sitting by Woo. the wagon when the what, folks. This morning, I may outdid myself. Bacon, eggs, Man. and coffee, this tastes biscuits, fantastic. and Thank you for stopping by. Always do appreciate you being here at Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. And we're going to see you down the road. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.